Hello and welcome to Kentucky Speedway. We are here in the Arca series tonight, Monday night, as the new week has switched over. I believe this is the second race of the night here in Arca, but my first race of the night in anything. Getting ready to go here for qualifying. Got a handful of people we know. I sent out a couple of uh, good luck messages. So hopefully uh, we have ourselves a good race with a good group, and uh, they have some good luck. Hopefully I have some good luck too. Hey, don't be selfish. <laughs> we are the number three. Just a 2.6k strength of field, which is uh, quite as high as they can get a lot of the time. As the new week uh, switches over, but 2.6, not too bad at all. We're going to try to get ourselves a good run to the line. Lots of space up on the track here at Kentucky, so we will take advantage of that. Try to get ourselves green flag, green flag. plenty of speed. Okay. Here comes your first time we'll see how we do here. Focus on being stable. like. I could have pushed that more. You can see it's not quite my fastest lap by any means. So. Gonna focus on getting a decent lap in. Then maybe I'll push more this next lap. In the four is not too bad. <laughs> Good luck to him. That's funny. I thought I recognized his name. I didn't say anything yet, though. We'll take a little chunk out of the apron here, but I believe, yeah, first lap was faster. The flag. It's over. So, P2 at the moment. We got a point three up ahead of us, and I'm sure Larry's probably got a better lap coming. He's usually up front. <laughs> That's nice of him to say. So these are the settings I'm going with: twelve to one steering ratio. That's pretty much what I do with everything. Steering offset negative 15, because I'm not so into the uh, natural, like, skew the ARCA car has for the steering wheel. And then I'm actually going to put the brake bias all the way back, and I'm probably going to do it in the car as well. Because I think you might want to use just a touch of brake on entry to 3, because I think it could get tight later on. We'll see how it starts feeling in the race. But, uh... Hmm. I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking it'll be hard on the right front if we just, uh start driving in a thousand miles an hour it's deceptively tight on entry there so we'll see though if everyone's just blowing past me because of that then <laughs> shane don't set up expectations too high for me i'm really good at <laughs> really good at disappointing um, so Larry actually gets fourth. That's interesting. He'll be fast though. He'll fly past us right from the start, I'm sure. Gavin with a great lap. He's P5. Jordan with the pole. Got a couple of laps in the threes. I know last time we came here, I got a point two. That wasn't this time around, so it might uh, be different track conditions or something, making that not quite possible. But I feel like it is. I feel like if I nailed it. Um, on both sides of the track, I'd probably, uh, figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm excited, I'm ready to go, I like this track a lot, actually. Kentucky, I've really enjoyed it. I said this, uh, last time we've been here, and I probably say it every time we come here, so I won't, <laughs> I won't repeat myself too much, but... Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed it, despite the fact that uh, a lot of people are like, Ugh, Kentucky, gross, that place sucks. <laughs> I 
we've got a couple people we're waiting on. It looks like we're probably just going to have to wait for the rest of the 22 seconds. But that's all right. 40 laps. It'll be interesting to see how the tires uh, have worn or will wear as time goes on. Because we're so on the right rear. I feel like it's going to end up on the right rear. But then there's also like that entry to, t to three like I talked about. That having a, a better right front might really help grip up right there on entry. So... Interesting, and it'll be interesting to see. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, session last lap. That's what we go with. Rick buys back. So, 57%. At the end of the day. Man, it must stink to be Larry, because I'm looking at his uh, race lab, like, predicted I rating uh, change. And if he finishes fourth, he loses 10 I rating, because he has a 7.9k I rating. I mean, I, I have to deal with that a lot, just being 5.1k. Like, you get a top five sometimes, and it's like, yeah, you lost four I rating. Congrats on the top five, loser. <laughs> and it's... uh. It's like a bummer because you feel like you did good. You got a top five and then I racing is like, mm, no, nah, not good enough for me. But that's uh, part of why I don't like to look at it too much. It's fun to try to get it as high as you can and work on it, but not to obsess over, even though it's very tempting because you want that like reward response, right? Like if you get a good run, you want to see like actual results right like you want to it's the gamification of it if you feel like you did good you want to see those positive results so that's why it's like a bummer it's like yeah i did good negative 10 i rating okay but getting ready to roll here we've got the weird sideways start everybody's favorite I think I like being on the inside. I'm gonna have to be very careful though, because I definitely could see it getting very loose, getting up to speed, and on the full tires, getting around. So, I'm gonna have to uh, be careful with it. Just realize I had them muted. I'll just bring up the tail of the field here. Just make sure nobody gets left behind. <laughs> I'm going to do a second gear start, it looks like. Shouldn't be any tire spin to speak of. Hey, scratch that. I'll stay very inside. I'll be on the line. Go by me. Got some people letting people by, I guess, early on. Right, time to focus. I, can, I expect this to be pretty close racing, probably. I hear first gear around me, that makes me a little nervous. Get ready, going green. Okay, okay. Okay. It's second gear though. That's what I want. I almost passed P2. Outside. Trying to take me three wide already. Clear high. All right. So far, so good. We've uh, got ourselves P2. Don't want to do anything too crazy with the tires. Try to keep uh, keep them happy for a while.
Everyone goes out to the wall. Not sure if I feel like that's so necessary. Theoretically, we get on the tires, but the track's so wide, it feels like I'm not even really putting that much pressure on them without uh, completely fading to the wall out of four. But who knows? I might wish that I uh, was doing it later. Galvin's making me a little nervous on entry to three because I'm trying to back that down more and doesn't seem quite as interested. Get a bit loose down there. Fine. Get the pass done. Maybe I'm being over aggressive from the start. I see you tapping my right rear. Nearly got taken out. Okay. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Outside. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Just gonna hang on our outside. But he gets around us. All right. It's fine. like that I'm able to uh, get that little bit of break on entry to three. I do think that will pay off. Team might have run into trouble there. There's a lap car. He's just going to move low. Out of the way, so he's appreciated for that. Larry's right behind us. We're going to have to watch out for that. Great run right there. Able to get to his inside again. Alright, that's scary. Feel like you kept that a little close down there on the apron, but we're okay. <laughs> uh, I'm nervous. Just really trying not to push up into him and uh, put the tires on it on the bottom regardless. Really wants to hang on the outside. Oh my god. That's great. Yeah, just come right out in front of everybody, man. What the fuck? It's really cool, that guy. But partly my fault, too. I probably could have handled that better. So we'll be back in 6th now, I guess it is.
Oh, Jesus. Jeremy's in the wall. That was scary. So, we uh, have to make some more passes again. Or, I guess we never really made any passes, did we? Kind of just uh, <laughs> started in third and uh, got the nose. We'll have to make some passes if we want to get back to where we were. Hopefully uh, no spinning cars doing donuts in my lane later for me to deal with. <laughs> Still feeling good though, top five. That's not bad at all. Any means. A little bit of a gap behind us. I'm sure that wall hit didn't help Jeremy at all. That was a pretty solid hit, it looked like. Time was 32.3. Well, he's doing okay. Really gonna back it down. Three. Try to make a difference with the tire here. Probably overdid it there, though. Gavin having a great run up there in third, right behind Larry. Everyone fighting the uh, loose on exit out of four. That's actually a pretty fun exit. I think uh, you get a really good amount of counter steer you have to do. It's pretty fun to try to wrangle it. Gavin looked like he was almost up into the wall there. Got really close. Kind of went extra wide there. I don't know if it did me much favors. Hi, Brandon. Again, again. Larry's so sideways up there. He's really driving it hard. I think trying to get a run. Looks like he might be looking inside. Not quite there yet, though. Really stinks to have lost that track position. It seems like it's going to be tough to pass. Everyone here is kind of just in a line. And of course, right as I say that, we got a pass for the lead going on. But uh, in my experience, Jordan doesn't give it up too easy. So, we'll see how, uh, how that battle goes. Still side by side, exiting two, as we're just now coming up on halfway to go. So I'm just going to try to keep this thing in contention, don't let them get too far away, but make sure that I'm not overdriving the corners. Off distance, fuel looks good. We'll see what happens. I'm getting loose out of the corner. It's like he's like turning down the track. I don't even know if that was on purpose or maybe he was trying to get around uh, Gordon there on the outside. Whew. You can just see every single car up there fighting off the looseness on exit. 
That's fun stuff. That's some driving going on. Oh, I hit the apron. That's not good. Cover it up. We're okay. It's gonna hurt the corner, but minimize the damage. second behind us. Still kind of holding even with these guys up here. Backing it down for four. Gavin's up a second, maybe gonna see if he has anything for Larry up there. Good consistency. Keep coming. Still feeling like I'm in a pretty good spot. It would be just fine. This ended up a simple top five. But I do feel like I got more in the tank. Let's see what we can uh, get out of it. Got up there. Two getting loose. Might be more uh, efficient just to say who's not getting loose. Because <laughs> I think just about everybody is every corner. I'm gonna catch Jordan here in a moment, though, I think. Let's see if he'll still give it all he's got to hold on to it. Really falling off though. Wait for him a little bit. How are we going to get around? A quieter entry, maybe? Now? Quiet, that wasn't all that fast. Slightly faster, but not enough to really even get around him, I don't think. I'm watching guys ahead get further away. there. It just wouldn't grip up for me. I kept yawing out. Oh my goodness. What's happening down there? sudden Jordan's getting away again. I don't know, maybe I'm just a fifth place car. Got ten, laps to go. Last lap time. ten laps to go to find out.
You now suddenly he's getting away from me again. Huh. Dude maybe got some paper in there? He lost a lot of pace. Midway through the corner all of a sudden. Kevin back to third. I think he's gonna fight for it back though. Still right there. Still no pressure behind. Two seconds still to work with. I overdrove the center there, I think. So good for my exit. Well, shoot, I didn't do a very good job of saving, I guess. Alright, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. What lap traffic had? There's been some interesting lap traffic situations already. Let's see if that's, uh, if that does anything to us. Seen some wider entries up ahead. I should be trying that out. Five to go, we're really not even with this group anymore. I almost feel like I'm just... It's just the driver. Like, the car doesn't feel that bad. I think I'm just uh, a little bit too afraid... ...to push it as much on exit. Maybe I was bad on the right front. Maybe I should have, uh... ...been more aggressive on exit just to even the tire wear out. Maybe my right front's looking worse than my right rear at the moment. That's causing problems. I don't know. But I'm losing the guys ahead, but still gaining on the guys behind. So I kind of found my, my little spot here, I guess. Which is not a very bad spot to be in. Top five. As I said, I'd be totally okay with that. <laughs> Gavin's going to the infield. Whoa. He definitely wants P2. Up, up time was I think he's had a pretty good battle there. I got nothing left, though. I'm just going to be watching from back here. Yeah, it's feeling like the right front. Not feeling too good. Thank you. No problem. You've got two laps to go. Two laps to go. Two to go. Thank you. Pretty consistent. <laughs> Coming up on the 22. Hopefully he's had himself a clean race. I don't see any damage on that car. Just one to go. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Oh, whoa, no spinning on the last lap. <laughs> he caught it. Good save. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Jeremy. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh no, they reckon on the last fault. lap. Something's happening back there. 
12 to 7. I'm calling that. But Larry will get the win. Scott in second, Gavin third, Jordan fourth, and I will be That's why you shouldn't drink race when you're drinking. Race, good win. Exclamation point, because I really mean it. <laughs> Ooh. I guess I was bad on the tires. I think uh, everybody will probably share what they had. So we'll uh, see. Nice one, Larry. <laughs> nice one, Larry. We've heard that before. Thank you. <laughs> 53 57. Ew. Yeah, I figured it was probably bad. I'll share it so everyone can throw tomatoes at me. <laughs> Top five for us both, though. All right, got to fit it. So we both got a great finish there. That's good stuff. Shane got uh, seventh back there. Also very solid. Yeah, everybody had a pretty good race. There's a couple uh, accidents near the back, I think, which we'll see in just a moment. A lot of the people that are like in the league and stuff seemed like they had a pretty good run. And as I expected, looking at the tires, <laughs> Larry just completely better in every way. Just kind of comparing Gavin better on both. I mean, I needed to be better on both sides of the tire, so I guess I just need to hit the line better, maybe. Make sure that I'm... I don't know. I, I got some things to work on. <laughs> I always end up with worse tires on everybody. All right. Getting the camera set up. Take a look at what happened out here. That's not a good place to be early on. Ooh. Lose that at four. And then they're taking a tour of pit lane, which is not good because that means they got a penalty entering like that. And coming right on the track. Yikes. They're having a time and a half getting this thing heading back the right direction. I think they're probably just pulling it into the pits and being like, yep, that's it. Coming back from that. Oh, no. What is it, Benoit? Sorry, I don't know your, how to pronounce your name. This looks like uh, kept a little bit too far off the wall there and the 17 drifts up. Thinking, uh... <laughs> Yeah, shouldn't have raised so long. Uh, why am I typing a zero? Yeah, <laughs> I think I would have killed the tires anyway. <laughs> so. Yeah, in retrospect, maybe we uh, were hard on our tires early on trying to jockey for a spot, but that's part of it. 
I could have backed out too. But we still get a good finish, so not so bad. Unfortunately, that con contact there ends up very bad for the 17. Oh, the 8 did not give up. And still having just a very rough time. He's not holding the brakes at all. But I guess there's no one around, so. That's a that's a tough one though. He uh needed some more practice laps, maybe. See the guy that was uh pulling up right in front of us? Yes. What is this guy doing? Is he uh I mean he's 3.3 case I rating, like, is he just having a bad day? I don't know, but like, this is when I come up on him, he's just sitting in the middle of the racing line because he wrecks again on the same lap. Just spanning it out right into the racing lane, and so you see I have to turn right in the corner, which generally not what you want to be doing, turning the opposite direction, and that got me all my car unsettled as it starts moving the weight around. I could have easily prevented that, I think, if I had just been better, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll take half blame for that. But uh, this guy, what, like, what is he doing? Is this guy here? Is he making like those YouTube videos where it's like, haha, trolling eye racing? Because like, what are we doing here? There's no way you can tell me that a guy that's apparently fast enough to have 3.3k I rating doesn't know this is just a completely stupid thing to do. He's just gassing it up, driving right into the track. Like, what is this? And then people are getting knocked out of the race because of it. Like, what is that all about? So hopefully he gets banned for a while. That's that's pretty awful. Should have parked it after spinning it on lap two. Eleven. Getting loose on exit. Can't quite hold it enough to keep it up. Well... It was an overdrive of the corner. This turn one wall on entry can kind of sneak up on you. Something about the way the, the Kentucky is shaped. That can really happen easily. And then I don't know why this happened either. I remember seeing this. Like, I understand this guy just got in the wall or whatever. But there's so many more, like... So many more safe ways you can do to get off the track than slamming on the brakes at the start finish line and then spinning in the grass. Like there's a thousand ways you could have done that so much safer. For example, entering the pits that you just passed. <laughs> not, I'm just not quite sure what's going on with in the minds of a couple of these guys. But no one got hurt from this one, so that's good. But I definitely could have. Imagined a disaster scenario where he clips that grass and slides back further onto the track. But moving on, getting close to the end of this thing already. Quick car first, of course. We got the banana car, <laughs> the nice bright yellow, getting into the wall a little bit. And uh, these might just be some tires wearing out. I think whenever tires get about 50% or lower, sometimes you start getting uh, false positives on the incident report here. And uh, this is where Jeremy gets hit and taken out. Dang. That, that sucks. I know both these, both these guys are pretty good racers that care about racing clean so that's just really unfortunate i think i think josh here was just trying to get a run because it's the final lap right now he's just trying to get a run so he can try to make a last corner pass 
and he just pulls up a little bit too close. And uh, with the shape of these, uh, the noses on these cars and how high up the rear ends are, even just a tiny tap like that can send someone around. And uh, Jeremy, while trying to catch it, overcorrects and right into Josh's path. So they're going to lose one, two, and probably more spots. I guess that could have been worse, though. I mean, Jeremy gets a top 10 still. Josh 11th, but I'm sure neither of them wanted that. And that'll probably be, yes, the uh, last thing to see. So, all right. that's uh, That was a pretty fine race. I'm okay with that. Uh, we got beat by a couple of really fast guys. Can't feel very... Can't feel bad about that. Get ourselves a top five. And an uh, estimated I rating gain of about 14. So, hey, not a bad day at the track. Especially given that I uh, got myself a 0x and had some fun. So, what more could you ask for? <laughs> Thanks for uh, watching. I'm going to go on and do some more racing tonight. I hope to see you next time. And I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching.